guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to the last part of tutorial how to crochet stitch character and in this part i will be showing you how to sew an individual parts together so i will show you how to sew the tail how to make um, the movable legs and arms and everything i will show you step by step so let's get started okay we have two layers of eye we have white and black layer and we need to put the black layer to the white layer and first we are going to make this small white line so you need to have Mm, white cotton yarn. I'm going to use um, yarn from Drops. It's called Paris. And I'm going to use yarn needle. I'm going to embroider the white line. And you can see uh, the left eye has the white line more in the right. So this right I will have the white line more in left. It depends up to you if you will uh, if you will make just one stitch or if you will make two stitches as me. And that's all. Then make just a simple knot on the wrong side of eye and that's really all. <laughs> and the stitch hold the black layer on the white layer of eye so this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to use a sharp needle and double black sewing thread. And I'm going to sew both these layers together. I always keep the starting tail longer because you have to sew it around and then you can just make a simple knot on the wrong side again and that's all. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to sew the belly to the body and first place the belly to the body and use pins with a large head and then we can sew. Now I'm going to use double white sewing thread and yarn needle and first stitch make under single crochet in the body. Another stitch goes into the stitch in the belly and repeat it again. Repeat this 
all the way around. And you can see again, I leave the tail longer because we will saw around and I will get the other tail to the first tail and then we can make a simple knot again. On the top, just use stitches in last round and the body and keep going. And don't forget to tighten every stitch well. I'm at the end and now you can make a simple knot, but uh, you have to lead one tail to the other tail. Okay, if you need to stuff the body and head more, more firmly, do it before you saw the head through the body. Okay, I have used crochet hooks to hold the head to the body and now we can start to sew. So I'm using again double white sewing thread and yarn needle first stitch goes uh, on the single crochet in the body again keep the tail longer another stitch goes um, on the single crochet in the head And repeat it again. Repeat it all the way around. Or you can use stitch in the last round of, uh, of the body. It's up to you.
Okay. At the gray part of the body, you you should uh, you should use single crochets. Uh, I mean, make stitch under single crochet in the gray color. And the head and the body is joined. Perfect. Now, it's up to you if you will saw eyes first or if you will saw the nose first. I'm going to saw the nose first. So I'm going to uh, saw the nose to the head first because uh, you, can, you can find the middle better than... than with the eyes. But I recommend you use pins with a large head and first uh, try how will look uh, the face with eyes and nose. If you have blue sewing thread, use blue sewing thread uh, or you can use white sewing thread, it doesn't matter. And now we are going to um, sew the nose to the head and it's exactly the same way like before. One stitch on the single crochet in the head, one stitch um, in nose and sew it around. I will not stuff the nose, but if you want to put a little hollow fiber uh, inside, you can before you close the hole.
And now you can sew eyes to the head, uh, but I will not show you how to sew it because it's exactly the same way as you uh, sew the black layer to the white layer. It should look like this and now we can sew ears to the head. Be careful uh, not to get confused because we have right and left ear. If you want to have ears like this, you can sew it um, just on the side. But I'm going to sew the button of ear. So first we have to sew the bottom of ear with sewing thread and yarn needle. And it will look like this. So it's up to you if you want to have the ear like right ear or left ear. So use sewing thread, double white sewing thread and keep the tail longer again. And now I'm going to sew the bottom of ear. Just make a few stitches, four or five. And now I'm going to make two more stitches in the same uh, in the in the same place. I have used pins with a large head um, to hold the ear to the head, and now we have to sew the ear to the head so place it wherever you want uh, i can't tell you in what stage in what round okay so i'm going to make first stitch in the head and then stitch in the ear And now we have to sew the bottom of the ear on this side and on the other side.
If you are satisfied with your result, uh, you can leave it. You can make a simple knot and hide both tails inside your head. If you are not, everything can be fixed. And if it's too complicated for you, you can saw the ear to the head with simple way, but the ear will, uh, will move. And so also the other ear. And here is how my stitch character looks like. I think it's cute and I think it's a little nicer with this type of ears, with this type of sewing. And I'm going to show you the other type of sewing. And you can see um, ears are movable, but it's simple sewing just here and here using just stitches in the ear. And here is a difference. Okay, now let's make the movable legs and arms. First, try to place arms and legs to the body of character stitch and then you can try the right place where you want to have, um, when, where you, you want to have legs. So I'm going to show you how to make a movable legs, but it will be exactly the same uh, also for arms. I'm going to use crochet hook. You can use a wood screwer for example and just insert the crochet hook through the right leg through the body and through the left leg You can use just your eyes or you can count uh, rows and um, single crochets, it's up to you.
Okay, I'm satisfied and I'm going to try to put arms to the body if it's okay. I think it's okay. So now we can start to sew. So I'm going to use long needle for amigurumi and cotton, thin cotton white yarn. This yarn called Camilla from Ronahab brand. And now just insert your needle through the right leg, through the body and through the left leg. Now insert your needle to the other, other place on the left leg and go back through the left leg, through the body and right leg. You can tighten it and repeat it again and repeat it three more times, three or four more times. Try it if it's movable and if you are satisfied you can make a simple knot and hide both tails of cotton yarn inside the leg.
it's movable so it's okay maybe next time i will put more hollow fiber uh, into the leg and then just so with the same way also arms to the body Now I'm going to show you how to embroider the paws. And you can see all legs or both legs and both arms are movable. So now I'm going to I'm going to show you how to embroider the paws use uh, use dark blue chenille yarn and make three lines. So it's up to you if you will use a long needle or normal short yarn needle and make just two stitches for each line. Okay, and then just lead the tail to the other tail, make a simple knot and hide both tails inside the arm. And do it exactly the same also on the other arm and on both legs. Okay, I have embroidered uh, both legs and both arms and now we are going to sew the tail to the body. First find the middle and then use pins with a large head or crochet hook as me or wood skewer to hold the tail to the body. I'm using yarn needle and white double sewing thread and just make one stitch on the single crochet in the body and one stitch in the tail. One stitch in the body, one stitch in the tail and Continue working like this around.
And this is how the tail looks like. Last step is embroider of the mouth or, or smile. So if you want, you can do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to make just big stitch over over the gray part of head under the blue part but you have to you have to insert your needle in the blue part or under under stitch under blue stitch maybe it will be visible better here so somewhere here you have to insert your needle and it will it will look better and it will hold the big stitch better so before you tighten it move the line move the stitch more up more up to the blue color okay it's okay and then just make a simple knot and hide both tails inside the hat and i have used the dark blue color of chenille yarn Okay, and we are at the end of tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell because you will never miss any of my video. Have a lovely day. Bye.